um, a propane torch along this way to, to kill it back and that way I raked and propane torched the greenery in here and then I propane torched all the greenery, greenery here and you can see that it's starting to die off I propane torched greenery right here, all along that way, around the center blocks, and I put two coats of paint on the trim of that door. I did a pretty good job down here, um, I think the heat's going to kill off whatever else is green underneath, but I propane torch down there. We never did uh, paint this because the pressure washer really cleaned it up quite nicely. You can see down there, it's kind of, yep, pop. Uh, yeah, so I mowed all of this up to this pole and then mowed all that greenery just to keep it down, keep it under control. I raked a whole bunch of pine cones that was out here in the driveway as well as the green grass. I took all of the bags that were um, sitting over here in this corner uh, full of yard debris over to the front and this is what you see is what you get. Yeah. So I would suggest uh, one more lap of cleaning up the moss along the fence line here and that'll be all cleaned up it looks a hell of a lot better than it was I mean it's so much nicer all right I'm gonna go along and oh and I removed a I removed a chunk of fencing that was right here and there was a tomato cage wrapped around this pole I got rid of that and I raked all this up and then further down and I and I also propane torch so it'll keep that under control and then further down the driveway here I took a shovel to try to make that a little bit more edgy and things are coming quite nicely. Come along. And this is the house that I worked on today, but I worked inside. All that's left is the living room and the kitchen. And then we can paint and we'll be done. <laughs> oh, well, there's also maintenance. There's the floor that needs to be put in and the carpeting. And a few little doodahs here and there, but for the most part, that's it. See you later. Bye.